He loves crazy. He's gonna dive in. If I make a pool of crazy, that's where Brendan's gonna be. He sort of, as the years go on again and again, chooses to take the more difficult route. I think there's a bit of magic in him that not only myself, but everyone is drawn to. He's one of the most generous and inclusive artists that I know. Brendan does everything. He works in music, in performance, he works in visual art, he's working in fashion, and he's able to cross those contexts. He works on a lot of projects at once. I like the bravery of that. Like not sticking with one thing, trying new things all the time. He understands high fashion. He understands the history. He's not just jumping on the bandwagon of making clothes. I think Brendan's style is, is totally unique. One of the things that I love is how he's able to mix high and low, funny and serious. The way people engage with a garment is different than the way people engage with like an artwork on the wall or in a gallery or a museum or something. So it's always about kind of the idea and the project and how they support each other. I've realized more and more that the object or the picture, the point of making it is to deal with the idea. He's a person who wants to say yes. He wants to say yes to as much as he can. He loves the idea of saying yes. He wants things to happen. He wants to get things done. He wants to do it with other people and he wants everybody to feel great. Brennan has been so supportive to us and he's kind of the reason why we moved to Los Angeles. He makes us feel like what we're doing is important. Brendan is inspiring me, his energy inspires me, and his enthusiasm inspires me. If I have a question, I will ask him and I'll talk to him and his advice will be really valuable to me. I'm really interested in um, supporting the work of other artists, like through publishing their you know, records or artworks. I'm really interested in creating events for people to come together. I've never met anybody so who had such tremendous energy, such positivity. He is absolutely committed to whatever he's doing. He possesses this accessibility to any person that comes around uh, his way. I think that he thinks about what he can give to a situation, not what he can get from a situation. I think that the identity of artist is sort of super valuable because as an artist you get to work in whatever medium and artwork. Like sometimes it's making a painting, sometimes it's making a record or something like this. Like with conceptual art you can make anything. Whereas if you're just known for one specific thing, like if you're a famous chef and then you make a novel, people might think you're the chef that made the novel. But if you're an artist and you make a novel, then you're just being an artist and doing what you're supposed to do as an artist. I'm Brendan Fowler, I'm an artist. I make pictures and sculptures and I make clothes stuff. I put out records. 